guys, Rich here from Rich and Niche. I want to do the next video on Notion. By now you should have downloaded it, or perhaps you didn't see my video from yesterday, um, the best productivity app for digital marketers and content creators. Well, if you didn't see that, maybe go check that one out. It's a bit more of an overview of Notion. But if you're coming to this video because you saw that I titled it, you know, how I switched from Evernote and Asana to Notion, well, then you're gonna learn something very specific because Notion is the replacement software you wanna get for those somewhat outdated, somewhat archaic pieces of software and somewhat overpriced for what they offer. There's going to be more competition in the SaaS market, more layers and adaptations to existing working products, and a lot of winners are gonna come up from that, and Notion is absolutely one of those winners. So, you know, I used to use Evernote to store my ideas and my content and even my operating procedures. I would even create master files which would link to every other file and everything was accessible like a second brain. I really liked using Evernote for what it was at that time, but I feel that Notion does that same job but far, far better. And I would use Asana to create project lists, to-do lists, and sort of track my progress, um, but I feel that Notion actually does that equally as well for a far better price. Now, I'm sure lots of companies out there are deep into Asana and they're not gonna be able to switch over, but you can still get use out of Notion as a content management system, as a storage area. There are so many different ways to use uh, Notion. But today I wanna to cover the five features that ultimately I feel are very relevant to those who may wanna consider switching. And the first is, well, I'll jump into the software right now. The first is um, interlinking pages. So the fact that I can go to you know, any other page over here on the left or any other page I have at anything open, and I can just click the three dots and I can go copy link. And when I bring that over here, I'm able to put out the full link or just directly link to the page. So it's really nice for creating that hyperlinked effect. I'll just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see a little bit better. I'm even using my notes for today's video here. It's just so easy and fluidly. And I think we need to learn to mix the mediums. I think we need to be okay with having notes on the screen. Like, wouldn't you rather I just made this video even though it required me notes than perhaps trying to memorize it or perfect it and then maybe never even putting it out because it didn't reach the standard because it's hard to memorize. I certainly don't recommend memorizing anything. And in fact, that's why I'm teaching you how to create a second brain because as a digital marketer, you need to keep track of so many processes. Remember that one time you had to link Facebook ads to Zapier, to MailChimp, and then trigger the Airtable? You know, you need to keep track of certain things so that you can reference them later. I love how everything is just so easy to drag and drop, right? Um, if I have some information, I can actually drag it into the page and it will show up over there. And everything is draggable from in the main working area to into even the workspaces and even into um, when you go sort of into uh, the, the breadcrumbs, you can even drag and drop into these. So everything just really, really simple. I love that you can add colors and images and photos. It adds so much. Just look at this right here. I mean, doesn't that look so much more enjoyable just to kind of look at? Um, we can't underestimate the power of visual enhancement. And uh, just take a look at a page I built recently as I've been preparing to build out my course. I just, you know, wanted to design a nice page so I could see all of the major topics and images. I could give myself and my end user just a very powerful visual experience. Like this is something you can't do in Evernote. You can't incorporate so much color and spacing and flexibility. I really love that about Notion. The colors, images, and photos, and even things like adding cover images. Now I can change the cover image. I could go for a, you know, something like this. I can even go to Unsplash and I can pull something from there so it's endless. I can add a nice icon you know, whatever I need to do here. It's very awesome. All in one in every page. What I mean by that is simply, um, 
each page has access to everything else and you're constantly having that speed and that availability of information all in one page whether it's through hyperlinking whether it's through the workspace and the choice of favorites and even under workspace you're going to get the next level pages right there so the fact that you know you don't have to go searching into google folder after google folder god that is such a pain in the ass this is so much faster finally i love columns i love the flexibility i love the fact that i can grab this drag it right here and i can start creating columns and if i want my information position that way i can and i can go to full width i mean just take a look at this right isn't this a fascinating way to be able to control information and position it was this ever available in Evernote, Asana, Google, anything like that? No. Bravo Notion for bringing even the most subtlest and simplest modifications to the software we already had. Thank you so much. Guys, these are the five reasons that um, made me switch. They're just so simple, but they're so elegant. And uh, I'm going to be a long-term Notion user. That's it for today's video, guys. If you don't have Notion yet, you can get it at richandniche.com slash Notion. That will get you a free $10 credit and will allow you to try the full program uh, for a full month for free. So I'd highly recommend going through that link because if you go through the normal link, you don't get anything. Okay, richandniche.com slash Notion. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, like this video, and hey, leave a comment. Have you switched to Notion? Have you resisted? Have you tried it? Let me know. I want to know if this program works for you guys. All right, I'll see you next video.